Hi Gemini, this video is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It's also if you're spying on a Gemini, so let's get right to it. What is it that you want in love in the month of January? And it says, well, you kind of want things to move at a slower pace. And the reason being is because you're not feeling sure. So whether you are in a coupled relationship already, or if you're thinking about trying to go out and meet people, you're going to want to take it slow in the month of January. What have you learned in 2017 and years previous that apply to your love life in the month of January 2018? And they say, you know, that action is important in relationships. You can't just sit back and wait for one to come in or wait for it to change. Um, but that stability is really, really important. Like day-to-day -day routines with relationships, um, knowing what to expect, all of that kind of stuff. Um, even in the area of finance, it's going to be really important. Like you need a very stable partner. And that's something that you've learned about yourself. Not necessarily somebody who's rich, but somebody that's reliable that you can depend on. Um, not to say that you need that. Uh, like you need to be able, like you need... To depend on your partner to like support you financially or anything like that but the predictability um, and the dependability of a partner in any sort of way is going to be very important for you now hold on there's a message that fell on the floor here what it's saying is that you've learned a lot about what it is or you thought a lot about what it is that you need like what is for your highest good and um, what is it that ultimately makes you happy you've done a lot of self-reflection and so now you're thinking about your happily ever after um, and you're really really focused on that so you're not going to settle for less than what you want the the thing is, though, um, in this month, it might be a little bit challenging for you to focus on the positives of that. Like, if you don't have it yet, it's hard to remember to be grateful that you're not in the wrong relationship, right? Um, and it's also challenging if you're not quite to this, like, full area of enlightenment of knowing what you want and what's good for you to kind of let your old ideas fall apart to replace them with these new ones. They say the biggest challenge is challenge itself, which is kind of silly. Um, are you ready for love in the month of January? And they say, yeah, especially if it's um, with somebody that reminds you of happy moments from your past. You know, So you might be rekindling with somebody this month. You might be fixing a relationship that you're already in. You might um, meet somebody who reminds you of your dad or your grandpa or another loved one or somebody that you feel like you've known forever. But that energy of still kind of take it slow till you're sure is totally there. Okay. What subconscious energies will come up for you to work through it this month in regards to love? And they say that's what they were talking about when they threw those cards on the floor. Like the understanding that certain ways that we do things have to come apart and that change is needed. You know, when things aren't built on a strong, sturdy foundation, and this is where that stability um, element comes in, you know, somebody who's reliable and trustworthy and you can count on them, then that has to fall apart and something new and better can be built in its place. What are your current blocks to love and how are we gonna get past them? The current block is that some of us are just kind of closing our eyes and not allowing love to come in. Now, why is that? They say because you're not quite finished deciding what you want. You're not quite done with that self-reflection yet. Kitty, knock it off. Um, okay, so how are you gonna move past it? And they say you might have to be the person to go out and pursue love this month. You might have to be a person who goes out of their way to show love to other people. You might need to, um, I'm sorry about this cat, but here. <laughs> this is about acts of love, showing love to other people. Not just telling them you love them, but showing them. Okay, so the more love you give, essentially, the more you're going to get back in return is that message. So how can you ready your heart chakra for love? And they say, just know that it's strong, that you're strong, that everything that you've gone through in your past hasn't killed you, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. You've learned a lot of lessons. How are you going to ready your mind? 
And they say sometimes you just, um, <laughs> sometimes avoidance is how you think you're going to ready your mind, right? But turning a blind eye to the minor infractions of other people, to things that shouldn't um, be such a big deal, like don't make mountains out of molehills. How are you going to ready your spirit for love? And they say by making affirmations that you're not all on your own. Like, I am in healthy relationships. Even if you're not in a healthy relationship with a romantic partner, like I am capable of healthy relationships. I will be in a healthy romantic relationship because I have healthy relationships with my friends, with my siblings, with my colleagues, that kind of a thing. What's a positive thing that you can do this month in order to increase the likelihood that you find a partner or to increase the love in your current relationship? And they say just taking full control and and in charge over the trajectory of your relationship um, by keeping things really stable and predictable by pretty much doing what you're doing. They're saying that some of you kind of feel um, hopeless, like you can't manifest what it is that you want, but this can all change very quickly if you decide that it can. Does that make sense? So someone can just fly right into your life if you decide that that is something that's possible. But um, this will happen for some Geminis, but those of you who have not quite yet kind of figured out all of this work, <laughs> which is both simultaneously easier and harder in the midst of a Cancer Moon cycle, um, those of you who haven't quite figured it out, that will come later, February, March, April kind of a thing. But for those of you who have, that have done the self-reflection and really got focused on what it is that you desire, totally possible in the month of uh, January. For those of you who haven't, it's more, it's not so much that you don't know what you want, it's that you're afraid to let go of what you're used to. We get comfortable in what is predictable, right? So we need to set a new expectation of what is going to be predictable in our lives. So that's your love in January. I'm going to get you a meditation focus card. A concept that we can use with affirmations and it says stillness. I'm going to breathe deeply and empty my mind and be still for a time. Whatever I feel, an itch, a desire to sneeze, I will conquer it with stillness. My stillness helps me to relax and feel at one with the world. And we have that world card in reverse, so this is very important for some of you. So um, especially those of you who need to kind of overlook the minor infractions of others, a, this is a good strategy for you in this month to help grow more love in your relationships. Kind of just close your eyes and be still. <laughs> then, then you can come back to it afterwards and ask yourself, is this really important? Is this really what I want? What are the things I want? And how am I going to go after them? So love and light and see you in February.